Today is D-Day. It is the moment of truth. I am going to go this morning to my primary care physician to figure out what my A1C is. I haven't had it checked in over a year. If you guys have watched my what you want to know about my insulin resistance journey video, then you know that I originally had my next annual checkup appointment scheduled with my doctor uh, for mid-March. However, last night, I got notification at like 8.30 p.m. that she had an appointment available for this morning um, and today is February 23rd so I jumped on the chance because I really really need to know what is going on with my health. I am absolutely terrified of what I'm gonna find out because my New Year's resolutions that have included be mindful of what I'm eating you know portion size and incorporating veggies into my diet it, it's been a complete fail basically um i mentioned before that our kitchen is not able to be used right now so at least for the past three months i've been eating out basically every single day or eating things that i can just microwave quickly because i can't use my stove i can't use my oven i can't use any of those things I also, just before heading out the door, I um, checked my glucose levels this morning, obviously fasting because you have to fast for um, your annual checkup, and it came back at 96, and I just wanted to compare to see what uh, my lab result would come back as to see if it'll be sort of in the ballpark. Obviously, I know that there's going to be a difference because there's fluctuations in blood sugar all the time, and from the time when I check my blood sugar to the time they're probably going to draw my blood is going to be at least half an hour, so um, there will be fluctuations there but I was just curious so I'll I will share those results with you guys as well I think I'm stalling but I need to go I need to go get my blood work done and see where my a1c is at so here I go <laughs> All right, so I just got back from my doctor's appointment. I was super honest with my doctor. I told her that I have been eating um, really crazy in the last few months and that I am predicting my A1C will come back very, very high. She said to me, well, you know, it was 5.3 at the last appointment. So, you know, if it comes back 5.7 to 5.8, then, you know, we'll just get you back on track. I said to her, honestly, I think it's gonna come back like 5.9 plus. But we'll see she said that if it does then she wants me to come back within six months to check my a1c again i also requested my fasting insulin to be checked as well and she said i will get my results back tomorrow so i just have to wait one day to see what my results are going to be i haven't eaten anything obviously because you have to be fasting and it is 10 50 now so i did pick up some food i wanted to show it to you guys and what I'm gonna be eating for my breakfast slash lunch, my brunch today is going to be this chickpea salad um, on a whole wheat pita. And I know some people are very against eating legumes because they are higher in carbs. Chickpeas, yes, are higher in carbs. However, I um, am okay with eating beans because I consider that kind of a whole food. And for me, almost no whole foods are off limits. So in this chickpea salad, we have greens, we have chickpeas, we have cauliflower, we have tomatoes, um, garlic and herbs, and then it is tossed in a tahini, which is a really good source of um, good fat. And in terms of the pita, I will be eating some of it because again, it is that whole wheat pita. However, I will not be eating all of it for sure. And yeah, that is going to be my lunch. Oh, it's 7 30 this morning. I should be getting my kids up and ready for school, but I got a notification on my phone um, late last night that my test results are in, so I, I have to check it. I have to check to see what my test results are. My stomach is in knots. I feel very, very nervous about this, um, but we are going to just go ahead and check. Oh, dear God. Okay. Okay, so while I'm logging into my account here, I'm gonna put on the screen below what my uh, A1C history has been. So you can see that um, my last A1C check a little over a year ago was 5.3 and I had um, 
previously previously stated in my uh, video that I was breastfeeding during that time and breastfeeding like very frequently multiple times a night and that totally lowered my blood sugar like every single time I had a nursing session so that is definitely the reason why my a1c was so low because I, I was eating not great during that time as well so I'm just gonna go in and check my a1c first oh jeez Louise what my a1c is 5.6 i mean that's higher than where i want it i guess compared to 5.3 but you guys i have been eating horribly horribly these last three months but really the last six months i would even push it to say the last like eight months um so I'm shocked that my A1C is 5.6. The one thing that I was doing very regularly was trying my best to always, as much as possible, pair um, <clears throat> my carbs with fat and protein. So that's something that I was constantly doing um, really most of the time. But then it's like pairing, you know, chicken with like a bunch of pasta, which um, isn't good for my body. Or eating a sandwich that has like, you know veggies and then deli meat but then still like eating most of the bread which my body can't handle so a1c is at 5.6 let's look at my insulin six okay so that is good um but let me see what my doctor says let's see um normal results include your cell count so no evidence of anemia kidney function she says is normal liver function electrolytes thyroid function um she said are all normal the ch test that checks for diabetes a1c is in the normal range 5.6 insulin is 6 normal range vitamin d level is normal my hdl is high triglycerides are low which is good but my ldl is slightly high she says high ideal levels are 100 or less um elevated ldl is responsible for plaque formation in arteries so she's telling me to include more olive oil avocado nuts fatty fish like salmon in my diet which i already do oatmeal beans lentils dried figs and prunes are good for fiber and i should incorporate more fiber she says plant-based foods um, are natural cholesterol lowering agents and then minimizing the intake of saturated fat found in red meat and full fat dairy. She says, overall normal results, good news. Once a year checkup is fine, six months if I prefer. All right, I am late to get my kids ready for school, uh, but those are my test results. My A1C is at 5.6. I wanna bring it down a little bit more, um, but I am whew, relieved with those results, at least for today. All right, so I've had a few days now to mull over the fact that my A1C last week came back at 5.6. For those of you who do not know, um, the standard guidelines state that an A1C of 5.6 and lower is considered normal. An A1C of 5.7 to 6.4 is considered the pre-diabetic range and anything 6.5 and over is considered the diabetic range. So just according to my numbers, 5.6 is borderline but still normal. However, obviously based on my previous Previous testing my previous experience and what I see my blood sugar do when I eat a higher carb meal I know that I am definitely not in the normal range I definitely am insulin resistant and I do have some metabolic dysfunction however I am so so relieved that my a1c came back at 5.6 that 5.6 a1c felt like whoo I kind of dodged a bullet now I was thinking about like what could have contributed to me getting an A1C that was much lower than what I had expected and two things came to mind. The first thing is that I am still breastfeeding. Um, I am down to one nursing session a day just in the mornings. However, I do know that my blood sugar drops whenever I nurse. So even though it's just the one time and it might be kind of negligible to my overall um, blood sugar, I wanted to um, make a note of that. Then the second thing is starting the new year, I did up my exercise routine so previously i always did prioritize exercise and made sure i tried to exercise at least a few times a week however starting the new year i upped that to four to five times a week which probably did contribute to my lower a1c now i totally am in agreement with the fact that you can't out exercise a bad diet and i definitely did have a bad diet however having um more opportunity to get my heart rate up to burn more sugar i would have to say probably contributed to my lower a1c 
Now, a couple other things that I wanted to know. I had told you guys that I checked my blood sugar previous to going to my doctor's appointment. I just wanted to check my glucometer results to the results of the lab work. Um, my fasting on my glucometer, I think was 96, I believe. And then my lab work came back at 95. Very, very close results. So that makes me feel relieved. It makes me feel like I can trust my uh, contour next glucometer so that is great so the other thing i was thinking about was during that period of time when i was doing um keto slash low low carb my a1c was at 5.5 so the fact that i had been eating i have been eating a lot more carbs recently and my a1c came back at 5.6 versus when i was totally restricting and being miserable my a1c came back at 5.5 tells me again that the low low carb keto diet just doesn't work for my body that's not to say it doesn't work for yours however for me i really think that that's something that i want to move away from pretty permanently at least for uh the time being so the, the last thing that i wanted to note was that my fasting insulin did come back at six which to me is a good result. Um, I know that some people say five or lower is ideal, um, which I feel like, I guess ideal, but it's not necessary to be like perfect, right? You don't have to have it five or under. For me, I kind of follow more the rule of 10 and below being um, pretty good. So six, I feel like I was happy with that. However, I do want um, to really note that all of these lab work numbers are just numbers. I can't say, oh, no, I have a fasting insulin of six, so that means I'm definitely healthy versus not healthy. I think the fact that I um, ate dinner the night before, probably finished around 6.30, and then my doctor's appointment wasn't until 9.30 the next morning, but I don't think I actually did the blood work until closer to 10.30, so that's, um, what, 16 hours of fasting? That's probably why my insulin level was so low versus if I had gotten the lab work done eight hours fasting versus 10 hours versus even like 12 hours, I think my fasting insulin would have been much higher. So these numbers are just numbers, a snapshot of the exact moment in time when you got your lab work done. It really doesn't mean that I'm healthy or not healthy. So in conclusion, my A1C this time around was 5.6, which I was very relieved with. However, of course I wanna get it lower because 5.6 is right on that borderline it means that my blood sugar is going much higher than it really should and it definitely makes me want to be better about um you know refocusing myself to continue trying to eat more you know whole foods more veggies more fruits all of that good stuff and then it also reinforces for me that i really don't have to do a low low carb diet it just isn't necessary for my specific body so i'm going to continue trying to shift my mindset to this in moderation approach that I have been talking about. Obviously, I haven't been doing a very good job of it, but I actually wanna try to really do it right in uh, these next couple months, this next year, and see what the result of that is on my body. All right, thank you so much for joining me for another video. If you like this video, please give it a like and also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.